Some new Black Ops 6 zombie leaks have officially dropped that we absolutely need to talk about and make sure that you guys are aware of for Black Ops 6. Starting off with the gobble gum, and this is a huge deal because I want people to know that this gobble gum system is going to be missing one key aspect of the Black Ops 3 zombie system, and that is you are not able to close your application to save gobble gums anymore. And to me, this is a huge deal for Black Ops 6 Zombies. You might be asking, how do you even know that already? The reason why we know that is because they have officially announced for Black Ops 6 that the servers for that game mode will be perpetually online. So even if you try to close application and save your gobblegums inside of Black Ops 6, the server will always remember. And unless there's some absolutely game-breaking glitch with the servers for Black Ops 6, you are going to be spending every single gobblegum gum you earn. Now, if we do remember with the Black Ops 6 reveal, Kevin Drew, under the little case of Gobblegum, had a book for Black Ops 3, and then under that guidebook for Black Ops 3, had another book saying thank you for the feedback. And so this, to me, is showing that Kevin Drew wants to listen to the community. He wants to make a more BO3 centralized system. However, the main issue now stems with how are they going to be able to have it in-game where it's earnable at a good rate just like how in BL3 was and I even think BL3 was kind of on the lower side you should have been able to earn more liquid divinium as you continue to go on and that was honestly just one of my least favorite aspects of the game in its entirety ultimately I just hope that with Black Ops 6 they have a strong system to be able to put out gobblegums I got a great gameplay here from Mystify as well of a Black Ops 1 zombies map called Battery and a lot of people in the community are actually saying that the Terminus zombies map you guys just saw at the beginning preview for BO6 is going to be based off of the layout of this Black Ops 1 custom zombies map now this was actually a campaign pain mission, but this was actually put into BO1 Zombies as a custom map, and it is a phenomenal map. I have a link in the description of me playing this entire map, and so hopefully, I just hope that Gobblegum is done right. There is a lot of a potential for the system to be bad, like if the earn rate sucks, or if you have to buy them through operator bundles, which, oh my gosh, don't even get me started if that's the case. If we are in a situation where we have to buy more Gobblegums through operator bundles in my opinion this system has fully failed it has to have some sort of way where the earn rate can be obtained in game and i do want to say this because we know that salvage is in black ops 6 because of the teaser where the zombies drop salvage I hope that you do not buy Gobblegum with Salvage. I don't think anybody's brought this up, but if you buy Gobblegum with Salvage in this game, that is going to destroy what made it so good in Black Ops 3. In Black Ops 3, you would go to high rounds and save a ton of points just to potentially double spin a Gobblegum on like round 90 or round 100. And that just gave it that extra layer of challenge so that it was difficult to play in this game. If you have to buy these Gobblegum through bundles, or if you have to get salvage and salvage earn rate is so low specifically in cold war that to me is going to completely destroy this entirety of the system and another thing i wanted to say is because we know outbreak is officially going to be in black ops 6 i preferably would not like to see gobblegum in outbreak and i know a lot of people might be like what are you even talking about like why does that even matter the reason why is because i don't think it fits outbreak outbreak is not really a story based mode whereas in bo3 zombies round base it was much more story based and that's the thing gobblegum is is a Dr. Monty's invention. So are we getting Liquid Divinium back? Are we getting the whole factory back? And to me, when I think of Gobblegum, it just doesn't fit the aspect and the narrative of what Outbreak was. And I hope this will be the worst thing. If they do put Gobblegum in Outbreak, it would be really bad if they made Outbreak exclusive Gobblegums. And that's my biggest fear if that is something that they go and go ahead and do. Because with Cold War, one of the worst parts about that game was the division of content content between round based zombies and outbreak and it never truly felt like both communities were satisfied and that is why i believe if any content comes out towards these games it 100 has to be for both round based 
and Outbreak. And that's why, to me, listen, if you put the Gobble Gums in for Outbreak, that's fine, but just don't design them for the Outbreak. That is honestly what I really hope they don't do. And so this is just a beautiful example of what one of the maps is going to be. Like I said, Terminus is going to be set in a nighttime setting, and it's going to be the harder zombies map on the game. I believe that Terminus is going to be more akin to Shadows of Evil, whereas Liberty Falls, the other zombies map that's set in the daytime, is going to be more akin into the giant and so i have some gameplay here of internment that is a bo3 sort of prison zombies map that kind of reminds me of the feeling of liberty falls it's going to be set in the day in a city apparently there's going to be a bank which is going to be very interesting and a lot of transit-esque features might be possibly returning so if we actually do get that that would be really cool to see a bank come back even if it's just for one zombies map and especially if it's trying to take a lot of inspiration from transit transit I think that would be really cool. And also, a lot of people don't know, but Liberty Falls is actually based off of a real place in West Virginia. And there's a really cool thing with this town that in West Virginia, there's a lot of myths and folklore about outbreaks of zombie viruses, like in deer or just in general. And so we know that there's going to be some sort of plague hound variant in the game with like octopus tentacles, like a margwa. And so to me, having something like that, where it's like a zombified deer that's like fast but like really easy to take out almost like a hellhound replacement to me just adds so much more flavor into these maps and to be honest i think most people on black ops 6 zombies launch are going to be playing liberty falls it's going to be the easier zombies map apparently terminus is much more difficult and a lot of people are saying even with the turret that we saw in that little teaser of the gameplay a lot of people are saying that what it's doing in that teaser is it's charging up the zombies as fuel and what you're going to be doing with that aa dark ether cannon is taking out the boss and a lot of people think that we're getting another underwater zombie boss and a lot of people are thinking like a big shark like a megalodon or something that would be so cool to see in zombies like it gets my mind going and so ultimately i just wanted to make this video to tell you guys like as much as they are trying to design the system in the bo3 aspect the main core ability that's going away from bo3 zombies is the ability to close applications because of the way the servers are and this is a massive deal because it ultimately means that it is 100 up to treyarch to nail the gobblegum system because if they do not the earn rate's gonna suck nobody's gonna want to use the system if it's like black ops 4 and that is why ultimately i hope they make classics and a mega version but hopefully the mega is very earnable in the game and this is the thing because we know that operators are also going to be inside of the zombies map to me it would make sense that they put the gobblegums as well in with the operator bundles. I mean, they practically did it with MW3 Zombies is open world. You can practically get a bunch of little dark ether crystals or whatnot to get inside of your game, which ultimately... I know this is a dark ether uh, universe, but I think the fact that they use dark ether as like an excuse to be able to just throw anything in like gobble gum and all these different random zombies. It, to me, that's just the worst part about the dark ether storyline is that it's taking the good things from the original ether storyline and just sort of sullying them to be a little worse, you know? And that's, I think the thing I really want them to 100% completely avoid and hold Hopefully, Black Ops 6 Zombies can be one of the games that we all remember as something as great as the BO3 Zombie system.